In question number 50, we have been given ellipse E1, E2 and S and this line is tangent to all the three curves at P, Q and R according to question and P, Q equals P, R equals 2 root 2 upon 3. First, we are finding out the coordinates of the point P that is we need to calculate the point of contact of this tangent with this circle. For that purpose, what we can do is okay, we can eliminate the value of X and this is going to be 3 minus Y whole square plus Y minus 1 whole square equals 2. And from here you can see this is going to be 2y square, y square, y square. This is going to be minus 6y minus 2y that is minus 8y. This is going to be 9 plus 1, 10 minus 2 that is going to be 8. This is equals to 0. So from here you can see this is y square minus 4y plus 4. So the value of y is 2. And correspondingly the value of x is 1. So the point P has coordinates 1 comma 2. Now the points Q and R are situated at the same distance to root 2 upon 3. So we can first write, so we are writing the first, the parametric equation of this line and that will be given by x minus 1 upon y minus 2 upon. Now here we need cos theta and here we need sin theta. That's tan theta, value of tan theta is minus 1. So this is going to be minus 1 upon root 2 and this will be 1 upon root 2 and that is equals to plus minus 2 root 2 upon 3. Now if we will pick the uh, plus sign, this will give us x as minus 1 upon root 2 will be multiplied. So this is going to be 2 by 3 with a minus sign and plus 1. This is going to be 1 minus 2 by 3 that is going to be 1 by 3. And y, if we are picking a plus sign, so this is going to be 1 by root 2 that is 2 by 3 or plus 2 that is going to be 8 by 3. Similarly, if we are picking a minus sign, this is going to be minus 2 root 2 by 3. And this is going to be minus 1 by root 2. So this is going to be 2 by 3 plus 1 that is 5 by 3. And y equals, since we are picking up minus sign here, this is going to be 2 by 3 with a minus sign and 2. This is going to be 6 minus 2 by 3 that is going to be 4 by 3. So we can see the points Q and R are going to be these two. First we are writing down the equation of tangent at 1 by 3 comma 8 by 3 on this curve. So we will get on this curve, so we will get x into 1 by 3 c square plus y into 8 by 3 d square equals 1 and the equation of tangent is x plus y equals 3. So by comparison we can see this is this will give us c square equals 1 and d square equals 8. So the eccentricity of the second ellipse that is E2 square equals 1 minus 1 upon 8 that is going to be 7 by 8. Similarly we can calculate the equation of tangent at this point and this is going to be 5x upon 3c square 3a square plus 4y upon 3b square equals 1 and this will give us b a square equals 5 and b square equals 4. So the value of eccentricity square equals 1 minus 4 by 5 that is 1 by 5. We are asked e1 square plus e2 square in the first option and we can clearly see e1 square plus e2 square is going to be 1 by 5 plus 7 by 8 that is going to be 40 and 35 plus 8 that is going to be 43. So a is correct option. And similarly, even E2 is going to be root under 7 upon 40 root under that is going to be 2 root 10. So B is also correct option. We can see other options will be rejected. Hence, the answer for this question is A and B. In question number 51, there is a parabola, hyperbola given x square minus y square equal to 1. And we can see there is a point n given x2 comma 0 which is center of a circle which touches this hyperbola at the point p x1 comma y1 and the tangent at the p x1 comma y1 intersects the x axis at capital M. So what we are going to do first is we are going to find out the equation of this circle using the concept of family of circles. So we are assuming a point circle here and that is x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square plus lambda times the equation of this line and the equation of line we can see at x1 or y1 this is tangent this is going to be x x1 minus y y1 minus 1 equal to 0 
and for this circle we will have to put y coordinate as 0 so we are y coordinate of the center to be 0 so we can calculate the y coordinate of the center as 2y1 and from here this is going to be minus plus lambda y1 upon 2 equals 0 so the value of lambda is minus 2 also we can see the x coordinate is going to be x2 from here using this family we can see this is going to be minus 2 x1 and from here this is going to be lambda x1 so this is going to be 2 x1 minus lambda x1 upon 2 the value of lambda is minus 2 so this is 4 x1 upon 2 that is going to be 2 x1 so the value of x2 is 2 x1 now we can calculate the point m to calculate the point m we need to make y0 of this tangent the equation of tangent is x x1 minus y y1 minus 1 equals 0 if we will put y as 0 here, we can see the x coordinate is 1 upon x1. So, the coordinate of m is 1 upon x1 comma 0. Now, L is the x coordinate of the centroid of this triangle PMN, which we can see is x1 plus x2. x2 is what? 2x1. So, this is x1 plus x1 that is 3x1 plus 1 upon x1 upon 3. And if we will calculate dl upon dx1, this is going to be 3 upon 3 is 1 minus 1 upon 3x1 square for x1 greater than 1 which suggests answer A is correct. Similarly, if we are going for M, this is simply y1 0 0. So, this is y1 upon 3 and we can also see dm upon dy1 equals 1 by 3 for all y1 greater than 0 which is implies answer D is also correct. Now, for y1 we can also write expression as y1 from here is going to be root under x1 square minus 1 upon 3 and if we are calculating dm upon dx1 this is going to be x1 upon 3 times root over x1 square minus 1 and we can see this is true for x1 greater than 1 so this is b option so we can say the correct answer for this question is a b and 